It's one of the highest cities in the world. La Paz is nestled in the Andean tropical mountain chain. A short drive, followed by perhaps a longer walk from the city, and you can be standing under snow-capped peaks. Not so long ago, people skied on these slopes. Bolivia's only ski resort was once the highest in the world at more than 5,400 metres above sea level. Nowadays, it's a sad relic of the apres ski lifestyle some Bolivians enjoyed on this once mighty glacier, which has melted faster than scientists had predicted. Under a fresh dusting of snow, these two ski lodges are the only reminders of what used to be. Scientists say the ice here started to melt in the mid-1980s. The glacier vanished in 2009. But residents of La Paz and its twin city, El Alto, face a more pressing problem than the loss of a leisure activity. While the higher peaks hold on to their ice for now, the thaw is putting freshwater supplies at risk. During the last decade, basically, when we have experienced all this uh, glacier retreat, what is happening is that, uh, that we have more water available because the uh, uh, glaciers are retreating, are melting. Um, and this is going to last some years, I don't know, 10, 15 years more maybe, depends on how the conditions are. But later, we won't have any other source of water. In 2016, La Paz was hit by a major drought as reservoirs ran dry. This year, the water supply and weather is being carefully monitored. The problem with climate change and climate variability is that you don't know really uh, if you will have the same amount of rainfall every year. So planning for a big dam, for example, might be a mistake. So the idea maybe now is to build small dams and we need really a contingency plan. Bolivians here may have the white peaks for a little longer, but they'll have to plan for a drier future without them. Dan Collins, CGTN, on the Chacaltaya Mountain, Bolivia.